how to start this video other than to say if you have not seen yesterday's video pause right now click on this link up here and go and watch it it's two minutes long you'll be back before you know it you pause the video you've seen yesterday's video and if you have then you will know that Jen and I Jen where are you I'm here gosh she's in there we're pregnant well, I'm not pregnant she's pregnant we're having a baby I'm so excited <laughs> you have no idea how hard it has been to keep it from people particularly since we've been vlogging so regularly and i need to calm down i'm going to stop i'm going to take a breather and then i'm going to get back to you we're off out one thing i really love about about the colder months is i can actually wear a decent coat which means i have pockets to put stuff in i can put my wallet in i can put my keys in i can put my get in the house dog i can put my camera in don't you give me that look dog in the summer you kind of walk around in t-shirts and shorts and you have nowhere to put anything Get in the house! You're not coming. And I've got a coat and shoes on, but you gotta stay here. We're off into town, we're gonna do some shopping, we're gonna do some beep. Get in the house! No! In! In. Because we've been keeping this pregnancy in a, a secret, basically, we didn't want to go into any shops in order to give it away. The last thing I wanted to do is kind of go into mother care or something and have someone that shouldn't know go like, what are you doing in here? And then us have to try and lie and say we were buying a gift for somebody or something. Jen can't lie for shit. No, I don't no. lie. Jen doesn't lie. Well, she probably does, but she's not particularly great at it. Or she's that good, I just don't know. We're gonna go to John Lewis, I think, and push some push chairs around. Maybe, I don't know. Basically, if you guys got any comments for people, tall people that need a push chair, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know where I should be looking. Because whenever I push a trolley around, I get a bad back because it's way too low. Hello! Hi. Way too low. So, recommendations for push chairs down below. So we were too excited to wait until six o'clock to post yesterday's video because I've been spending so much time on it. It was actually edited and ready yesterday night. I was up until about midnight trying to get it sorted or finish, finish finishing it. I can't believe you didn't post it yesterday night when it was done. Oh no. That was so much pressure for you to not do it. Shut up. I was like itching. It got to about lunchtime today. I was like, no, I want to do it. It's been up an hour now and we've already had 71 views on it, which I'm so chuffed at. I was like, no, most of our videos don't get in like half that. And sometimes they get about that many. To have that many in an hour, it's awesome. So if you guys have seen it, Thank you very much. Make sure you have given it a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go and watch it. I've already told you once, if you got this far in the video and you have not seen it, you're naughty. You shouldn't have done it. But even if you have seen it already or you've not seen it, go check it out, share it with people, tell everybody. It's a good video. It's taken me hours to edit and even longer to record, even though it's only two minutes long. We've been recording it for about a month. On and off, different least. days, yeah. yeah. The logistics are crazy. Um, originally I'd done like a, I started doing like a behind the scenes of recording it, but with vlogging, doing the behind the scenes and recording it, I kept getting confused. It was really difficult. And then I didn't have enough time to actually do anything actually not on camera so I kind of gave up on that idea so I think what I might do if you guys are interested in a day or two maybe kind of give you a walk through faux behind the scenes of what went into making the video I might have a couple of clips that I can pull out from when I was trying to do behind the scenes you do a director's commentary director's commentary would you guys like a director's commentary if you would let me know if you wouldn't well don't let me know Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. You guys could probably tell that I'm pretty excited. I really need to stop talking now. <laughs> Otherwise, the shop's going to be shut because it's Sunday and they all close like four or five o'clock and we don't have any petrol. I love this time of year. All of the trees look so pretty. Everything's golden and orange and beautiful. Like, look at these. It would be better if the sky was as beautiful to kind of compensate, but at least the trees look pretty. We've just parked up 30 minutes later, 96 views now. It's just mental. I got it wrong, I needed to refresh. It's 102, 102. I love you guys. We've had to park on the top of this car park because it is packed. Um, but I guess it's a good time to start getting used to taking the lift down. <laughs> if you know what I mean. No stairs for us anymore. We're gonna get super fat. Okay. Quick! Come on, run! It looks like John Lewis is getting ready for Christmas. Sparkly lights and everything. That doesn't mean you can get ready for Christmas. Jen seems to think it's too early for me to get ready for Christmas. Yeah. I think the end of October, beginning of November is the perfect time. The beginning of November, no. not the end of October. Is the perfect time for Christmas songs. No. It's Christmas already. 
kids are getting excited for Christmas. This kid's not getting excited for Christmas. No, not yet. We've not really done much looking at buggies yet. We've done some. <laughs> I got a coffee. Jen's not allowed coffee, so she has hot chocolate. What a shame. Yeah. I have to have hot chocolate. And we've both got a millionaire shortbread, which looks awesome. And we're just going to sit here and watch people go by, I think. Is it that she always decides that she likes the expensive one? I have good taste, what can I say? 800 pounds. No. That's not that expensive. It is. There are so many choices, but they're all so expensive. Like this one up here. This one. A thousand pounds. We've made our way over to the Lebanon's, and Jen seems to think we need a giant giraffe. I think we need one. A giraffe that's almost as tall as you. I know, it's huge, isn't it? Jen wants to go in here. I think today I've completely planned out the next 10 years worth of toys and presents and all sorts. Check out this guy. How gorgeous is he in his little tweed jacket? He's so soft. I know it's only October, but I could not resist coming into the Christmas shop in John Lewis. It smells amazing. It does. It smells all orangey and cinnamony and lovely, and it is gorgeous in here. But it's not Christmas yet, so we're not buying anything, just looking. Jen's told me she wants me to bring the car closer. She is just in there, in the car is just behind that red one. Talk about lazy. We'll let her off today, won't we? She has good reason to be tired. Allegedly. Hi. Taxi. Thanks. I'm ready. Jen's already started buying pregnancy stuff. She's so excited. It's necessary. And she bought this tube, what did you call it? Um, belly something or other? Bump belt or something. Bump belly. Belly. Bump band. Bump band, right? She bought a bump band. And she was trying to explain it to me in the car on the way out earlier, and I had no idea what she was talking about. It's just a basically like a tube top that doesn't go all the way up, but it means that you don't need to have your trousers done up. So, because my problem's been with my top button on my jeans, it's a little bit too tight. But now I can like open the top button on my jeans like this, and it's all covered, and no one needs to know. I'm thinking I could really do with one of those for my jeans and my belt at the moment, my belly, because of all those cookies we ate on holiday, and. All that, what's it called, all, all that, we can help yourself, buffet, all that buffet style food, I put on so much weight, I daren't weigh myself, I daren't, I, I'm not I have to, it. they made me. Oh, at the appointment? Yeah. yeah. How much have you put on? Too much. Too much. Shep's not enjoying this time of year, he absolutely hates bonfire night, fireworks, his worst enemy aren't they mate? If you've been with us the whole year, you probably remember about this time last year, we had a problem with fireworks going off around our house. We came back one day after having something out and a meal out. And we did used to have a cat flap on our back door. But when we came back, the cat flap had just been destroyed. Basically, I think he's either got his head stuck through the cat flap trying to get out of the house or to the fireworks or something. Um, either that or he tried to get out the house and sort of like ripped the cat flap to pieces with his mouth. Either way, we got back and the cat flap just was no longer. And there's just this hole in the door that I then had to frantically try and replace the panel for the door, which was difficult. And anyway, we did the best we could. But yeah, I feel so sorry for the dog. And we were walking back a few minutes ago from the car and you could just hear dogs as fireworks going off, barking. I understand that some people want to set fireworks off and I think that organised displays are probably the best way to go about it, particularly last year because one of our neighbours a couple of doors down was setting off fireworks pretty much well, just out there and Shep hated it. They were so loud they just kept going on and on and on and he sounded like he was in pain and I just feel so sorry for pets. So sorry for them. It's a different sort of yelp as well, it's not like his normal bark, it's like a really terrified sound but it's heartbreaking to hear. Sounds like he's in pain. Shep. You don't like the fireworks? No. I started making dinner, I decided we we're going to have some spaghetti bolognese. We had some turkey mince in the freezer and I started making it and it smells disgusting to the point that I stopped in my tracks, I tipped the remainder of that turkey mince into what it was cooking because then I can throw it away because it will cool down quicker and we're going to have something else. It doesn't exactly look great either. It's like what is going on? So instead we're going to have some roast, oven roasted chicken thigh, no breasts, some oven roasted chicken breasts and some frozen veg with some kale because it's all we had in the house apart from that damn mince so we're really going to have to go shopping tomorrow. 
Yeah. We've been saying we're going to go shopping for about a week and a half now because you guys may or may not have realised that there's a bit of discrepancy between when we've been posting our vlogs and actually recording them if you look at the description box. Um, so we've actually been back from a holiday for a week and a half now. Um, but we kind of only vlogged when we were away and then we started editing and posting the videos when we got back to help facilitate this break we felt we needed. Uh, but it means that we have been living off pretty much takeouts and whatever we go to the shop last minute for because Jen's been late home a couple of days and I don't know, we're kind of, we've been in holiday slash celebrate we're pregnant but we're not telling anyone yet mode and it's been really difficult. But now we need to save money. We need to stop wasting money on takeouts and shit because we've got to be responsible parents. Turned out that was a really long-winded way of saying we're having chicken and veg for dinner. I think I might have just been conned. Jen has said that she needs me to go out and get some Marmite, citing, I don't know, like cravings or something. But I'm sure I read in a book the other day that they're supposed to stop at three months, so is she taking the pregnant lady on something? Husband doesn't have a choice. <laughs> There you go, my dear. Marmite. Thank you! That is not enough Marmite. We need big Marmite. That's all I had. It was pretty much exclusively filled with men. <laughs> Basically, I'm wondering how many of those men were sent out by their pregnant wives or girlfriends or whatever. Well, not necessarily for Marmite. Do you guys like Marmite? It's disgusting. Marmite is great. Comments down below. Marmite, love it or hate it? Just don't give us a thumbs down if you don't like Marmite. Please don't, just write in the comments if you don't like it. Time for X Factor. Um, the results, did you guys watch it yesterday? We did. It was a bit weird, being away and then having to catch up with X Factor and X Factor realizing that what you're watching, the results already been announced and everyone else in the country knows, except us. Jen's gone to bed, although I don't know how she can sleep because I'm just too excited. It's now half 10 and I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, and you guys are amazing. You've actually killed my laptop battery. You've killed my phone battery. I had to put it on charge because it was like 5% before. My laptop is now on about 7%, so I've had to put that on charge. And now I've had to move over to my iPad because of all you people, oh, shut up, TV. Because of all you lovely people on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, all the well wishes. You guys are amazing. You're so nice. You've got the nicest comments. You're the nicest bunch of people I know. And what's quite annoying, in a good way, is that you guys that watch and comment on my YouTube videos are by and far nicer than people I know in real life. Not everyone, but you know what I mean. You guys are just stellar. I love you guys to bits. You're so nice. You're so positive. You're so kind you so this just sounds really creepy and weird but i really really do appreciate every single one of you and it's times like this when you know you just have news and you want to share it and people you know everyone has kids well not everyone has kids but so many people have kids it's something that it's nothing unnatural it happens all the time there's like 200,000 kids a year born in the uk or something crazy but I feel special that I'm finally having a kid and I am so excited and it's nice that you guys acknowledge that and just saying nice things and oh, I need to stop otherwise I think I'm going to start crying. I think I'm starting to come down from all the excitement. I'm starting to get very, very tired. So it's probably a good time for me to say goodnight and tomorrow Jen's getting me up early because she wants me to drive around to the supermarket because she needs to get a cake for work. I don't get it. Why is it that on birthdays and apparently now you're pregnant, you have to buy cake for other people? Surely they're supposed to buy cake for you. Anyway, good night guys, thanks for watching. Thank you very much for all your nice comments and I will see you guys tomorrow. Gotta to be quick, otherwise we're gonna be late because about an hour and five minutes to go and get breakfast, make sure we've definitely got everything, um, and head out to our meeting point in order to debark.